This hospital, like so many in Uganda, is overrun with sick children and frightened parents. As far as I understand it, this, these, are the, these are the kids who just turned up. They queue up to get seen by the doctors. There are only 90 beds in this hospital, but they are being filled three or four times over. 24-7 people arrive all day and all night. Yeah. Yeah. 24 hours, we are working 24 hours and we have three shifts every day. Right. These incredible doctors and nurses are battling to save these children. It looks like a special emergency, an epidemic, but it's actually like this every day here. What symptoms has she been displaying? Convulsions, high blood fever and convulsions. And what might be the cause of that? The most common cause of that is malaria. malaria. This tiny child is desperately sick, and sadly, it's no isolated case. I've got the chart sheet here. This tells me who's here and why. So over here, we've got Peace. She's three, suffering from malaria. In this corner here, we've got Azuena, two, suffering from malaria. Around here, we've got Stephen. He's one year old, suffering from malaria. Over there, all lined up, we've got Peter, 13 months, Shakebu, 20 months, and another Peter, 18 months with malaria and then down here we've got gracious he's 10 he's got diabetes caused by malaria the problem in uganda is so overwhelming that every five minutes a mother will lose her child to this mosquito-borne disease and the agony is malaria is preventable in the next bed a little boy called isma has been brought in with convulsions and a fever how serious is, is his condition right now? Very serious. Very, very Three. serious. With his body going into shock, the doctor suspects blood poisoning brought on by an explosion of malarial parasites into his bloodstream. Open, 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 open. open. More tests reveal further complications. The boy has cerebral malaria, which is a more serious version of malaria because it affects the brain, so the symptoms are much greater. The treatment he's going to require is much greater. And more children are arriving all the time. But it, they just keep coming, and another child's just arrived. We don't know what's wrong with them yet. The queue outside keeps growing. It just doesn't stop. It's like a tidal wave. But there is something we can do. Comic Relief is helping to get malaria nets, early testing kits, and emergency medicines into local communities. Early treatment could help to prevent these terrible scenes, and it doesn't cost much. A fiver buys a mosquito net. A fiver. 25 quid would buy five. We can sort out this whole section. That's because a net can reduce the threat of infection by 50%. It's an incredible statistic. And here's another one. The majority of people who watch Red Nose Day don't donate any money. That's shocking. Is that you? Are you the person who's sitting there and thinking, ah, I'll do it later. Don't, don't be that person. Please don't be that person, because look, there's stuff that your money can change. It's been quite a shock to be here today. It's so important, please. 0, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 10, 9, 10. I said I wasn't gonna cry. 0, 3, 4, 5, 7. <clears throat> 910, 910. You've got to do this. It's really important. Don't be the person who sits there and doesn't bother. Don't be that person. Thank you. I think we can all be a bit guilty of watching a film like that and feeling like it's happening in a land far, far away to people that we'll never know. I've done that myself in the past. But when you find yourself standing in that hospital ward, the fact is that children are dying in front of you. And we wouldn't stand for that if that happened to our children, to our brothers and sisters, or our nieces and nephews, to our godchildren. We wouldn't stand for it. We shouldn't stand for it happening to anyone else's children. No parent should live to see their child die. Don't wake up tomorrow morning feeling guilty because you didn't do anything tonight. Don't be that person. You're better than that. I know you are. Make yourself feel good. Pick up the phone make a change, save some lives. Do it now. If you have never given to Comic Relief before, now is your chance.
Do it now, as Tom O'Dell sings the beautiful Another Love. <laughs>